Greetings metal community, it's uh, Roga back with another uh, death metal update. Yeah, The Glory is Dead, new album, and uh, I was kind of uh, hoping this would be great, because I really liked the previous one, and uh, this uh, one uh, is uh, pretty damn good. Uh, slightly changing the production on this, a little bit murkier production than the previous one, not much, but just a little bit. Uh, but man, this is great. I've uh, been playing this uh, five or six times now, and it's kind of, after the two first spin, it's kind of picking up, because uh, good albums tend to do that. Uh, yeah, just great opening riff, or opening song. It's kind of have this classical intro uh, stuff, and then it kind of bursts into a, a pretty hard-hitting killer track great opening track on this album um, overall I think there's a lot of more happening in the songs there's, there's more um, uh, kind of uh, cool guitar lines here and it's also kind of a um, mixture between the kind of the uh, two different guitar lines is very cool uh, not a big solo guy but uh, they are more kind of leads than solos really um, here um, not so many you know Kerry King moments um, yeah and uh, you know instantly my first listen I kind of the first and the last track was kind of uh, who hooked me in first uh, on the first couple of uh, listens but um, on the third listen the uh, second to last song Cemetery Path Man, what a killer track. I don't often get goosebumps when I listen to a new record, but uh, that song really uh, gave me goosebumps. It's just a fucking killer song. Um, my uh, top song for this album uh, for now, uh, and I probably will be because, I mean, that is just a fucking killer song. That's kind of this rainy, um, you know, intro with some crows and uh, some shovels digging in the dirt and uh, I was thinking you know a little bit too long intro for me but when this starts the riff starts and fucking hell man what a song overall it's just a fucking great album it's very variated uh, within the songs as well but uh, you know you have doomier parts and you have brutal parts I would say um, you have some kind of black metal moments as well here and there I would put this kind of towards incantation and um, uh, yeah, drawn and quartered in a way. Uh, if you haven't heard this band before, uh, it's kind of had that uh, compared to the previous album, has a little bit more evil feel to it uh, overall. I think I don't know if it has to do with a slightly murkier production, but uh, just a bunch of fucking killer riffs here. Uh, great vocals. Um, it's not often or when death, mo death rollers uh, kind of try to just go more black they often fail uh, but uh, but you know this guy is just hammering it out TJ I've, I presume is the singer yeah TJ um, from Linsky uh, great uh, well, I've been uh, in a kind of a stream in the, in the kind of club with Heavy Metallurgy, talking to him, and uh, very cool guy. So, uh, great vo vocals uh, as well, and pretty juicy uh, growls, I would say. Of course, everybody knows Marty Worms from Heavy Metallurgy. And I'm not praising this album because these guys are in it, because I don't care about that shit, but... Uh, uh, yeah, I do like this better than the previous one, and I had the previous one on, on you know, seventh place uh, on my year-end list that year. So, um, will this be top ten this year? Probably. Uh, I just fucking love this album, uh, and it's a grower. Uh, don't give up after two spins. I did two spins with the CD first, uh, and um, kind of the only thing I want to put out here on the kind of on the CD, you can ha hear the. Um, Kind of the uh, snare drum is a little bit clunky, uh, but on the vinyl you don't hear that at all. Uh, of course, uh, colored vinyl is not my thing, but um, 
at least uh, there's uh, some black in it uh, and purple is pretty cool goes with the logo of course uh, and you know uh, Marty I can't read the lyrics very well because um, small writing and um, yeah purple letters on black made it difficult but uh, apart from that I don't have anything complaints about this album uh, I like the rawness of it it's it's just kind of feel a little bit more energetic than the previous one feel more confident um, there's lots uh, or more cool guitar work here there's some really cool twisted guitar work in here that I didn't hear on the first couple of spins but it's kind of always popping up new elements from this album and um, yeah I will play this a lot uh, more, but uh, I think I have five or six pins now, and and it's just a banger of an album. So uh, go on to the Bind Rune and, and buy him, buy this stuff, and listen to it, and don't give up after first listen. Give it a couple of listens because there are some really cool stuff going on here, and uh, you know you get the CD with it as well, so. Um, you can buy the vinyl, even though you don't have a vinyl player, but a record player. Uh, go and get you some, and you know, awesome cover as well. Mustn't forget that, so go and check it out. Uh, as I said, if you want to, uh, to, to kind of... I would, if you struggle a little bit with this album, go and play the two last tracks. They kind of uh, fit as one as well, fit well together. The last one is more of a doomy... Uh, you know, Death Doom uh, piece, but a uh, fucking awesome album, guys. Yeah, on to the uh, next one. Uh, this is also a US band called um, Parasitic. Uh, modern, uh, slightly brutal death metal, technical. Pretty good stuff. Um, it's on self released uh, item. I bought, bought the. Um, digital track of it and the uh, kind of the guy that runs the side he he uh, contacted me and said that they will have a um, have a CD version ready so um, yeah he sent me one really good the quality solid um, slightly brutal death metal of the of the modern era and um, yeah good stuff Then I picked up the new um, Shades of Deep Water uh, Finnish uh, yeah, Funeral Loom, Death Doom band. Uh, a lot of people talked about the previous album, uh, a lot of people, I mean, this style do it really have a lot of fans. Uh, but yeah, great, great, you know, slow Funeral Doom, Death Doom. Uh, really quality. I do like the previous one a little bit better because I think this is slightly more monotonous uh, overall. But uh, uh, great listen. If you li like Funeral Doom, Slow um, Death Doom, uh, I'm pretty sure you know of this name, and uh, and it's a great album. Uh, but the, for me, still the previous one was a slightly better. Also picked up the new uh, Darkened single seven inch to uh, track steel kill destroy and archaic wounds you know Swedish sounding great fucking band this one and uh, of course had to have this uh, it's a quality band and I think a lot of you know this band uh, also picked up the new crypto you know the um, Brazilian ladies um, I really like the pre first album but this is a step up uh, they have really kind of grown up uh, in a way uh, when it comes to uh, to the uh, songwriting here it's way more kind of their own identity uh, I felt the previous album was a little bit too um, kind of uh, what to say like uh, in, in a formula this this on this album they kind of play around a little bit more and uh, 
more self-confident, uh, the drummer is getting better. Um, I only thing I, I wish that the vocalist would growl more because she has an insanely good growl, but uh, it seems like she likes the more screamy vocals, but I mean, yeah. A uh, step up from the previous one, which also was a great album, but uh, this is uh, this is better. So if you didn't like the previous one, go and check out this one because, uh, you know, cool stuff. And uh, some albums that I picked up on sale and I was very, yeah, kind of surprised to find um, these on sale. But um, the Nor uh, one of the big changes in Norway had, had, or they do have like this... Um, three for 60 euros and including shipping that's a pretty good deal so I picked up both uh, the um, last mournful congregation and the uh, Exudia of gods part one and two uh, had this on CD but I haven't hadn't picked up this one yet so I'm very pleased to get it for um, for a, a cheap uh, price I mean, normally I would probably have to pay more than close to 30 euros to get it to Norway. But um, yeah, Funeral Doom, one of the best Funeral Doom bands out there. And if you haven't heard, heard Mournful Congregation, you should, if you like that style. Uh, just great melodies, great melody lines, uh, and very good production on it as well. Great vocals, everything is just great with this band. And, I don't have any crap by this band. I don't think they have released a bad song in their life. So uh, for everybody who likes the slower death and metal, go and check out these two releases if you haven't already. I mean, it's it's just a killer band. And I picked one up uh, which I, I kind of forgot, or I forgot I ordered it, uh, but I probably I wasn't thinking about this band uh, when I uh, ordered this Morgue album Artcore I was thinking about another band I just remember the cover and uh, remember it was good and it, this is good I mean nothing wrong with that. this one it's a, it's a brutal death metal band I think this came out around 2000 um, it's a good album uh, but I was kind of not expecting it uh, so it, it turned out to be a blind buy without uh, planning on, on it, but uh, yeah, I'm happy to have it in the collection. I will, um, I will spin it some more because it, it's uh, it's good, uh, brutal death metal. Yeah, I will try to speed up use too much time on the glorious dead, but um, or not really. Outer Heaven, Infinite Psychic uh, Depths, another killer death metal release this year. I uh, was surprised on how good this turned out. I was a little bit skeptical, I uh, don't know why, but um, I kind of felt on the previous one that there was some changes going on uh, that I necessarily didn't or I wouldn't like. Uh, comes on this fantastic uh, color, green. Uh, I mean, with this uh, type of wild covers, uh, you know, you will expect colors. And uh, Relapse is a crappy company because they don't, uh, or very rarely, print black vinyl, so I don't know why. But uh, yeah, back to the music, that's what counts. Uh, lyric sheet, we have a lyrics and info. Yeah, kind of, uh, you know, the modern uh, death metal sound. Um, I kind of discovered this band with the, uh, they were part of a um, uh, kind of a, like a force bit, uh, heavy, juicy, death metal, modern style, or a modern, uh, the new way of, uh, of old school uh, death metal sounding bands, you know, uh, Tomb Mold and, and stuff like that, you know. Uh, but but this album I need to play it a little bit more. But a really a really good album, um, way better than I was kind of fearing it it would be, um, because I was kind of dreading some changes like a lot of these bands tend to do. But uh, uh, not so doomy as they were in the beginning. But uh, just fucking great album and um, great production. Uh, everything is done right. 
it's nothing revolutionary about this band at all but uh but it's it, it is a quality act when it comes to to this style of of music i'm sure a lot of you know this band and a band that has got a lot of love over in england uh, the new uh, coffin mulch i'm not so enthusiastic enthusiastic about it damn as my uh my uh, mates over in england uh, i don't think this is uh, fantastic i do like it uh, i think it's a good album uh, but just kind of for me it's a step down from the previous one uh, i just feel that um but these guys have seen them live and i feel this kind of music is actually better live than it's on vinyl uh, it's a lot of energy in it and uh, but kind of the vocalist here uh, is in a way too intense for the music in a way or or the guitar sound there's something about the balance here that i, I it's annoying me a little bit but it's a great album don't get me wrong and don't you know don't stop subscribing to my channel just because i'm not uh, loving it as much as uh, some other guys in the metal community but uh i mean i like it uh it's cool it's kind of just uh, slightly disappointed and maybe the um, overall hype that the english lads uh, came on a yeah i don't know what to call this uh, galaxy or whatever um, terrible color color variations on this album uh, over overall but um with this again it's a, it's a little bit same with the outer heaven you know when the cover is so wild kind of expect the vinyls to um to be uh, like this uh, is this a kind of a self-released um, album i think i don't see any label here so at war at war with the noise at war with false noise is that uh, their own label or something i don't know uh insane cover uh, too colorful for me of course i'm boring um yeah other people talk highly of this album so i'm not gonna sit here and um, talk anything bad about it because i like it i just i just felt it has been a little bit overhyped uh from the english lads but um you know if you love it you love it it's nothing wrong with that I, I just think it's great nothing more yeah I picked up a couple of reissues by incantation uh, primordial summoning I don't primordial domination of course really like this cover uh, yeah nothing much to show uh, I think it was black vinyl and um, yeah hateful it's uh, pretty well done this uh, house headbangers reissues also picked up the uh, decimate christendom christendom like christendom so we say as we say in norway uh, with this uh, you know embossed uh, logo and yeah i'm a big fan of incantation and um don't have much of their stuff on vinyl so uh, i will pick it up if the price is right so Yeah, I forgot to show this uh, when I showed the other Mournful Congregation, but um, this was also picked up on the same sale. Um, the Book of Kings, double vinyl. Uh, yeah, I uh, said enough on the other albums, but uh, yeah, killer stuff. And uh, you know, for a, a good price. Last one up is this uh, excellent um, album by uh, Putrid. Putrid Evocation from, I think they're from Chile, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, this came out on CD a couple of years ago. Um, I don't remember if it was 21, I think it was 21, uh, out on Burning Coffins. This is a fucking killer album. Uh, uh, death, uh, kind of that blackened death, death doom, uh, heavy. A little bit murky a lot of cool riffs uh, pretty cool cover as well you know uh, it it's, it looks better on vinyl than it does on cd because it's 
you know, smaller and the details don't show. Uh, if you haven't heard uh, Putrid uh, Evocation, uh, go and check them out. There will be, will be a link below. I said this is an... I can see if I can see the... But I think it was 21 that this was originally released uh, Dawnbreed Records or also... Uh, nah, it doesn't say. Uh, but yeah. It's just a, uh, a banger of a release. I haven't played this vinyl yet, but um, I played the CD a hell of a lot when I got it. So quality stuff. Yeah, that was all for this video. I uh, hope you enjoy it. And uh, yeah, the intro stuff that's uh, been uh, popping up on your screen uh, on this video and the previous one is, is done by, um, you know, uh, Austin from uh, Vacuous Depths. He wanted to... Uh, Give me a little bit hand uh, on uh, creating some cool stuff because, uh, you know, I have promoted his stuff and I just like to help people and um, I'm very grateful for it. it I think it looks very cool and um, hope you're digging, digging it as well. So uh, thanks a lot once again, Austin, for uh, doing that. And um, the next one will be a um, package of some vinyls that I bought from uh, Jürgen Aumann. So um, I will probably shoot that right after this and uh, release it to you sorry for the length of the video a little bit too long for my taste but um, thanks as always for watching the shorts